Play with Matches is back. Hi. Sometimes you see a story and it's so important to cover it that you literally will stop everything that you're doing to record this video. And I don't know what it is. See, that's kind of like this should be Jesse Educates Gabrielle, the show. Yes. Um, on things that don't actually matter. So uh, we're going to talk about Ariana Grande, oh. among other things, because Ariana Grande, you cheated. God damn it. Did I didn't see? read it. I just saw her name. Yeah. So Can't recently she um, she went on on uh, on a podcast and okay. discussed who her dream dinner date would be. Hmm. Now, listen. There are a lot of reasons that a person can get slammed. Gabrielle, could you think of one? Um, talking about hooking up with the mm-hmm. backup quarterback. Correct. Yeah. That, <laughs> I was that, like, that, what sport was like, he again? Yeah. Who's your dream dinner date? She saw my husband's backup quarterback. Because mm-hmm. every time that I let him enter me, good things happen. Gross. Okay. Um, Who other was times, Ariana's? Jeffrey Dahmer. What? Yep. Listen. Why? And you got to ask. It's like, hey, Ariana Grande. She has a weird brain. You so. haven't gotten the best press lately. Yeah. So. Breaking up marriages. It's, just been, it's not, not been good. I wonder what her status with that guy is. Have we I, talked about that on this show? I don't know. I don't. It was her wicked co-star, right? Dude. In case we haven't talked about that, let's just talk about it for a second. Okay. So Ariana Grande, in case anyone is unclear on her dating history, said that she is down to hook up with anyone who subscribes to our channel today. Top of the list. You don't need to respect her opinions on things to acknowledge that she'd probably be fun to toss around a room a little bit. And so you hit subscribe. And if you're a lady... You could substitute Ariana Grande for Ryan Reynolds. Yep, it's look, not a bad, yeah. You know what I, I like mean? That. Those things are I not love true. Ryan Reynolds. But you absolutely should subscribe to the channel. Yes. Um, anyway, but so Ariana Grande, oh for those for those who my are watch uh, is going crazy. Sorry. For those who are um, uneducated on her dating history, and I guess like actually like just, recent dating history, but also just her history in general. When she was growing up. Okay, she had a daddy and she had a mommy and her daddy left her Always mommy with the daddy issues, left her mommy for another lady mm-hmm. and completely abandoned her family. How old was she? Young. Like, but you, like remember young or younger than young. remember young? 10. So, so remember young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like the kind of age that You're trauma like that life. will burn itself into your psyche. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, if you think about how that would... Uh, I don't know, manifest for a young girl because girls need their daddies, you know, for her. um, I guess it was a question mark right up until she became sexually active and there started to become a pattern where every single relationship that she got Mm -hmm. into started when she stole a committed guy from the girl he was committed to. That's pretty yikes. All of them. Really? Every single one. Huh. She took a guy who was had a girlfriend or a wife and she stole them. That's crazy. And then they end up breaking up and then she repeats it. Now, she doesn't strike me as a malicious girl, which means she's batshit, you know? <laughs> There's only two options. I mean, if you're you, malicious it, or you're batshit crazy. Listen, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm a dude and I fancied myself pretty ruthless when it came to like, you know, if they're like when I was young and it was like, Ooh, I like that girl. There's uh-huh. only, and like for guys, there's almost kind of like a sick like, yeah, took that girl. But I wouldn't like even I did not like that at all. You know, like where it's like, oh, okay, well, she's literally in a committed relationship, and yeah. I'm taking her from this dude. It's not a good look. And then you, I mean, if you don't feel guilty about that, you're a kind of a psycho. Has know? anyone else pointed out her daddy issues thing? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, everywhere. And but yet she, but this, she just keeps doing it. Well, this the the history of it came out after the wicked thing, which is the most recent. Oh, okay. One. Like that's when everybody was like, because let's it, take a look at her history. It was unexplainable. The guy huh. that she stole wasn't even cute. Understatement of the century. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like you look at her guys, it's like Big Sean. Yeah. You know. 
Like uh, she was with Mac Miller, rap stars. Then she was with Pete Davidson, very famous mm-hmm. celebrity, uh, you know, celebrity comedian with a huge cock. Everybody That's says. That's all I know about him. I that, don't think he's that, he that has, cute either. That he has a huge cock. Okay. How did you know that? That's all you know That's about him. That's literally all I know. Because I said it probably. Probably. Well, probably because you were looking at him. You're all, why is he banging Kim Kardashian and Ariana and like Gabby everybody and and the girl from yeah. Underworld? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he dicks him down, mean dude. Yeah, he's got quite the beautiful resume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought you were going to say the beautiful penis. I'm like, you've seen it. Nice. Good for you. So beautiful. Uh, But anyway, so like, uh, you know, there's no shame in dating him if he's dating Kim Kardashian and, you know, the underworld. What's her name again? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. She's like totally (laughs) on my list too. She's beautiful. She looks like you. So, you know. Um, So, yeah. I mean, once a... Okay, like, and there's there's a thing to talk about there. Like, if a dude has... Two mm-hmm. famous hard 10 girls on his resume that basically green lights any girl in the world to give him a shot regardless. Because they're like, yeah. oh, okay, well, if he was a Kim Kardashian and Kate right. Beckinsale, like clearly hierarchy. there's something. Yeah. It's like they've done the they've done the background due check diligence. for you. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, you got them. And then uh, I don't know. She's got some other ones. But bottom line is this new guy that she was with um, when they're filming Wicked was like a drama kid who was a he was a Broadway He's, kid. He had been with one girl his entire life since high school. They were married. They just had a baby. What's his name? Evan. But isn't he like up and coming famous? Like wasn't he in some Only because else only too? because she hooked up with no, him. No, he was in some other stuff. No, no, no. You're thinking of the dude that Kylie Jenner was recently dating. Oh yeah. You're thinking of the Dune guy. I am who is mm-hmm. a hot piece. Yeah, I am. He's a hot that. piece. Evan is like his retarded little brother. Ethan? Is that it? That guy? Yeah, Ethan Slater. Yeah. Look up his height. I feel like oh, I... Oh, they got divorced. Yeah, I know. That's really sad. She, he had just had a baby. Like, Ariana Grande had sat in the room with him, his wife, and their new baby and played with their baby. <laughs> what is Ethan Slater famous for? He has a Tony Award nomination for a Broadway debut performance as SpongeBob SquarePants in the Broadway musical. Look up his height. Look up how tall he is. <gasps> okay. I mean, not that like you can't, you know, hook up with a short dude or whatever. He's 5'7". Like, no, he's not. That's what this says. That's not true. I mean, she's 5'1". So. She is five foot on her best day. And <laughs> this one says, I'm sorry, he can't be 5'7". He looks about 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> Maximum. Because like him and Ariana are the same height, dude. He, I mean, she wears tall heels, but so then not 5'4", then? Yeah. 5'5", five, five, maybe? He is a tiny little drama kid who was married. Okay? Like, that's when everybody started being like, Okay, what's up with Ariana what's Grande? Why is she doing this? He was the co-star. And so they would that like... That hasn't come out yet, right? No. They would like work on their lines kind of together. To Dude, his wife straight up knew they were hanging Didn't out all the like time. did she bring the baby yeah. to the... Yeah. Ariana Grande held their baby. Like, the, and it's the wife... so gross. It, it's so unfathomable that the wife did not see it coming at all. She's yeah. like, what? It's like I the mean, story I told you about. in the wife's defense... Like she probably literally met Ariana Grande and was like, my husband would never stand a chance exactly with her. I have my nothing point. to worry about. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's my point. That's like the only time I ever got got like that where, you know, yeah. my girl was hanging out with a dude that I, and except in the exact opposite. Yeah. I'm like, no one's going to hook up with that, that fucking guy. guy. Yeah. No one. Little did I know. Lo and behold. Yeah. But. You lose them how you get them. That's the only girl that I ever dated that I knew had a boyfriend while I was first hooking up with her. And then, I mean, I didn't lose her uh, like that. You know, I, whatever. I found out afterwards. That's fine. Okay. So. No let, one's judging. So bottom line is Ariana Grande is a. And uh, this is from two like days ago. Like the worst kind. Yeah. Like a life ruiner. Yeah. And and the crazy thing about the Ethan guy, there's a 0% chance that they end up together. she was going to stay with him. Exactly. None. Not a chance in hell. Okay. Did so they the, even actually really date? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were together after he broke. Like he broke up with his wife and then her and Ari, him and Ariana were together. And it's like, guys, that's so fucked. There's no. That guy's. I didn't see a photo of them together. Yeah. It's crazy time. While you look that up, listen. She was also during that filming time. Um, crazy time. She looked 
spracked on she looked something. Gacked. And I, let's, so let's see if she still looks like that right now. So this is the clip that everybody's going crazy over. Ariana Grande loves singing and dancing and fun. But did you know she has a secret hobby? I was infatuated with serial killers when I was younger. Were you? Mm-hmm. Dear God, we thought she was going to say scrapbooking or something. She was on the podcast Pod Crush, and she was talking about a story about when a young fan came up to her and asked if you could have dinner with anyone, who would it be? And she, I mean, Jeffrey Dahmer's pretty fascinating. I think I would have loved to have met him. Yikes. No one could possibly Scary, agree yeah. with Ariana on this. I am team Ariana. Then again, there's always one bozo willing to go out on a limb. Please explain. She's fascinated with serial killers. I'm, I'm into serial killers, but I don't want to sit and have dinner with them. What's the difference if she showed up in a jail cell to talk to him or showed up at a dinner? Dinner with a cannibal. What is he serving? Who is he serving? <laughs> Hopefully they just go to the Cheesecake Factory or something. But the point is, can you blame Ariana? It's like, tell me everything about your life. What makes you tick? I want to understand how, what, how oh, you're Jeffrey handling. Oh, Jeffrey Dahmer's going to tell her all that? Like, you're assuming he's playing bowls. Yes, I'm assuming. Jones, TMZ. You know how much fucking money this guy's probably got? Yeah. Well, he's not going to say, you eating that? <laughs> well, no. Well, the bottom line is Dahmer may be fascinating, but. You know how, you know how. Uh, you really want to break? On. You know how Dahmer fast. ended up uh, checking out? You know how uh -uh. he checked out? What would be a fitting way to check out if you were always luring young, unsuspecting homosexual men to your apartment and then you drugged them and then killed Let's them? Let's not get demonetized, shall we? Yeah. So if you did that and then you had your way with their mm -hmm. non-alive parts and yeah. then, you know, dismembered them and then. Okay. Them. Okay. Shh. I don't know. Someone, Someone doing that to him. Someone in the jail. Yeah. Beat him within an inch of his life and took a broom handle. Oh, and God. And killed him with it. That's fitting. Mm hmm. So here's my take on him being the dream dinner date. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, I understand that... Okay, so Jeff... I don't know that she said dream dinner date. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. If you could have dinner with anyone, who would you want to have dinner with? She said Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Listen. More for the conversation. <laughs> I would assume so. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, here's what I... Here, this is the only defense I can give her on this is... The only huge famous serial killers that have come out like in her like lifespan yeah. are BTK, not really that interesting, total psycho, mm -hmm. but not like that interesting. Jeffrey Dahmer, to me, is disgusting. Like yeah. he's like, and I don't mean disgusting like, wow, he killed all these people. I'm talking like there are serial yeah. killers that are kind of interesting. Yeah. And he's then there are guys them. that are just like degenerate. He's like a slug, you know? Yeah. Like you have... Ted Bundy, that's interesting. I concur with you wholeheartedly. Ted Bundy, you're like sit down and you uh, and you're like watch his eyes turn black. You know, yeah. you do it in a in a crowded place. He's not gonna he, like he is in public. He's not a dangerous person. You get him by himself where that's he can a different story. throw you into the back yeah. of the car, and he's not gonna do it to a dude either. It's all girls, but like <laughs> Ted Bundy's interesting, very interesting. This guy. This guy Gross. is like a degenerate, drunken slug who just would like, you know, <laughs> drunken slug. he was an a, a, like a blackout alcoholic Gross. who would like, hey, you want to come back to my place and have some some intercourse? Ew. And then he would give them. I've a never drink. even heard him speak. Actually, I don't even know what he. He's sounds like. Well. He's gross sober. I can only imagine when he was a blackout drunk. Which but is he like even articulate or no? I mean, he's not retarded. Because Bundy was even like. Ted Bundy's a yeah. genius. Yeah. Ted Bundy's like a legitimate genius. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Like um, basically every famous serial killer Except him. is more interesting than Jeffrey Dahmer to me. Yeah. It's an interesting choice. I remember when this happened because, you know, like, I don't know if, if you were big on movies when you were growing up, but like you what weren't movie? really, huh? Like on, oh, this movie's coming out. Yeah. 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 So there were a few random movies that I was like, that so like stuck about? out that I was so excited about. One of them was this rando horror movie called Body Parts. And... I don't think I saw that. It was right when I was just was first allowed to be able to, to see anybody, like, which means yeah. you were probably six or something, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. And uh, I was like probably Giselle's age. Mm -hmm. And I remember that was coming out. I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. It was like, you know, some guy like, 
loses it and then he gets body like gets body parts replaced surgically and then like yeah. they were from a serial killer so he becomes like this whatever <gasps> And then right before that movie was coming out mm -hmm. is when this story broke. Like I could tell you within one to two years when this happened because of that. I bet you. Wild. I will bet. And I have never looked this up. I will bet you that the Dahmer case happened between 89 and 91. Okay. Let's look it up. Oh. I would have been five it, years old. Actually, I'll do it on my. Actually, where's your phone? Do it. Do it with your voice. So I don't have to, you know, Okay. I will bet. What you am this. I looking at? Um, Jeffrey Dahmer's arrest date between 1989 and 1991 is my guess. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. That maybe 92. It was July of 91, and he was sentenced in 92. Let's fucking go, dude. So impressive. That is impressive. <laughs> yes, wildly. Because I, I mean, like I don't like I, that's I'm not into this shit. Mm -hmm. I just remember that, and I remember I was I was first allowed to see horror movies, which would have been when a real life. And this, movie. we're talking, this came out. Now look up the horror movie Body Parts release date. I bet, I swear on our children, I have never looked this up. I bet you it is within two weeks of when he got arrested. Three weeks, maybe. Maybe one week. <gasps> oh my gosh, hold on. Oh my God. Body Parts movie release date. Oh my God. I told you, dude. August 2nd, 91. I... And, and it was exactly like a week before. Yeah, because it was July 22nd, the arrest. Is it you weird the shit that you remember? So proud of you. Is yourself. that not the weirdest thing? I swear on our children, I've never looked that I, up. Dude. I believe you. That was <laughs> that was 30 fucking years ago. Well, yeah, there's like weird things that you will remember. 33 years ago. Exactly. And I remembered that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You, you know what bow else? Bow or like. What? I said you want to bow or. No, I was going to say, you want to know what else I remember? What? The day I met you. Oh, babe. I could picture exactly sweet? what you looked like the second you walked in, where I was sitting, your face. You could see your expression. I know exactly what you were wearing. Like, That's cute. Bulletproof. I do not have that same memory. No offense. Sorry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why would you? How would you I do know? remember that y'all got warm yeah, yeah, sushi yeah. and tried to hang up art. No, we did hang up art. Tried to hang up. Mm, art. I think we did. I think we did. Okay. I just remember those sconces. Y'all were so proud of those sconces. What are sconces? Like the candle holders that you put on the wall. Oh yeah. <laughs> you had like a fleur de lis one or something. Me and La Petrie had so much fun when we lived together with yeah. stuff like that, dude. Like let's decorate. We were just like we were so like not like we were like smart mm -hmm. but so re Stupid, intentionally smart. retarded like yeah. with stuff like that and we knew it we're yes. like we're like dude let's go we used to go to when when we lived together in college every night during the summer we'd be all let's go to blockbuster and we just go walk around the fucking aisles of blockbuster like sometimes we'd rent something those were Other the days we, man. we would walk so our slow our kids will never know the thrill of going to blockbuster on a friday night and yeah. being like to your parents like right after school like we have to go we have to go because they're all going to be gone if we yeah. go there at like seven they're all going to be gone yep yeah that was awesome I, I one one of the funniest memories i have from blockbuster with uh with mike was like um, when we lived at Mentone, mm -hmm. um, it must have been when you were up there. I actually think it anyway, whatever. It was like while we were together or, you know, like that period yeah. before you moved I wasn't down. living there yet. Right. Yeah. So there was a movie called Harsh Times that Christian Bale was had starred in. And it's mm -hmm. like he's kind of like this like Hispanic gang member. And like the cover of the movie looked gangster. And this is like right, like the Dark Knight came out, you know, and so he, mm -hmm. he like Christian Bale was the shit. Yeah. And then it was like, and check this, he's in this movie, Harsh Times, about LA gangs, and he's on the cover. We we're like, oh shit, this we're movie. It. This is gonna be yeah. the bomb. Was it not the bomb? So me and Mike watched it, and it's legitimately the worst movie in the history of film. It's horrendous. Like it is so fucking stupid. It's one of the stupidest Poor movies guy. ever made. So a couple, maybe like two, we had like to the point where it was a topic that we talked about all the time. We, mm -hmm. we would always talk about how sorry harsh times was like, we would see something would be like, pull out a line from the movie nice. is that dumb. Right. Yeah. So 
we were at Blockbuster right next to Block, like to Mentone, you know, where it's down, down like uh, where they, 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 what's uh, Yahoo's Burritos or Wahoo's or whatever. The, yeah. Was, it was right next door to there, or like in that plaza. Like where the tanning place was? Exactly. Yeah. So Mike and I are in there and there's this girl that Mike worked with at the time. Who I haven't he thought was, of that little plaza in a long time. I took you to the first. Uh, yeah. Wait, no. All I can see is like the stairs going up. Wait, was that the same point? Anyway, whatever. So we, uh, so we go to Blockbuster, mm-hmm. and this girl that Mike is friends with at his job, and you know how Mike is, dude. Like girls are, oh hey, you know. I miss him. So this girl who he's friends with from the office is there with her dude, right? Mm-hmm. And it's me and Mike. Yep. And we're in like wife beaters and shit, like tattoos, like, you know, bleach blonde hair, bleach blonde hair, just like, just, you know, probably like, had our pit bull on a leash. No, I'm but kidding. like, but you can imagine exactly yes. how we looked, right? Yes. To a guy who is this chick's boyfriend who's right. like, oh, this is the Mike this guy is the you've guy been from telling your me office? about. Yeah. So he looks at us and we're looking for movies and Mike made a joke about harsh times, you know, because we'd always <laughs> yeah. like. And the guy was like, best movie. The guy's all harsh times. He's all that movie's sick. <laughs> and Mike and I looked at each other and we Died legitimately laughing. laughed yep. in his fucking face, dude. Yep. Like, we like, I could see that. Literally laughed in his fucking face. Yep. We're like, hey, you like fucking harsh times? We were just <laughs> so merciless guy. to this guy because this guy's like trying to like be cool and yeah, fit in, you know? Like, course. he's like, Jesus, I, I hope my girl's not going to have sex Y'all with this guy. So hey, you guys look like you'd like that movie, Harsh Times. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking just murked him, Awful. dude. That's what I'm saying. What's that story that me and Mike laughed at a guy who said a movie was cool that we didn't like? It's like, and that shit I st- is like I burned into my yeah. brain because it was so fucking funny, dude. What's funny too about thinking about when I lived with Mike was always his relationship with JK slash now J E. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. It. And uh, because. I've I love her. Yeah, she's like great. I've always thought she's amazing. She's awesome. But together they were not. She awesome. was his girl. Yeah, and he was my best friend. And him with girls usually. And we like I was in constant conflict with her. Yeah, and I ne- I didn't realize at the time that this is his fault. You know, because like, course. like because like from when yeah. he and I were friends to you know years later, it was always her. And so I was like, this chick is it's the worst, insane. Yeah. How can she be so fucking cool when I hang out with her and so psychotic any other time? Like she's always not letting him go out, she's whatever, whatever. Poor girl. And then, of course, like as soon as they actually stopped talking and then Mike dated three, four other girls, you know, I was like, the cycle oh, repeated. this has been him He's the whole the fucking time. Yeah. He's the problem. Yeah. This guy has no idea how to deal with girls. Like. None. None. Like he, it's like he, he literally just like sets up crazy on a platter. It's like any girl's going to go crazy. He is hilarious. He is hilarious. But, but we owe him our relationships. So. That we do. But his, uh, I'm trying to think of like, dude, I remember one time when we were, okay, so she was my age, but she graduated a year before I did. You know, like yeah. I stayed next year. And just I rem- one? Just one, yeah. Oh. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure. You were only a super senior. Yeah, I think, super, she super st- senior? I think she stayed five. I think. Oh, really? I think. I don't know. I don't remember. She went and worked with Mario and Chrissy, though. That's what that was her first right. job. Was she worked with? Anyway, but like so, the, I this for sure was the first summer after she left, and she had a job, mm-hmm. and I was up there with Mike, and the summertime was always just like chaos. No, there's never anything. Oh, going. Really? We were always bored out of our minds. Oh, like, I used to love Santa Barbara. Everyone was home. It was fun. Yeah, but like we didn't have like much going on. You know, like it would right. be like me, him, and it's like not a, like a Friday people. night during the school year. There were no right. fun Friday nights really. So. This one night, like him and her used to get in fights on the phone all the time, obviously, Perfect. you know, and so they're fighting on the phone. They're fighting. And she on the phone, was whatever. back home, which was how far away? Walnut Creek. Yeah. To, to so Chico. Three hours. Two and a half hours. Okay. So they get in a fight. He hangs up on her. He's like, I'm, I'm done with her for the night. Turns off his phone. We go over to French's. So it's me, Mike, Jason, Lert, I think Cossage, and then maybe like leslie or something it was like mm. a, a nothing burger night yeah. like it's i remember that night thinking to myself 
summer sucks balls. There's never anything going on. I'm bored out of my mind. I remember this being really fun when I was 19. Now this sucks. Yeah. You know? Now that I'm yeah. 45 and still now, I'm, now that I'm 60 and I'm still here, <laughs> this sucks. Because like a lot of people used to stay up for the summer when we were 19. Yeah. And when you're 22, it's like. Right. Anyway. So we're just chilling at, at Jason's house. And we are like, I can't remember what alerted us to the fact that there's a car outside, but or it was like a knock I'm or sure. something. And I looked out and I saw her forerunner. I was like, <laughs> and the night just got interesting. Oh my God. So she had driven. <laughs> That's why I was asking he turned off his was. phone. Yep. Yeah. And so she had driven two and a half hours all the way to Chico, like oh, within man. her mind, like he's with another girl. I'm going to get him. Yeah. He's with another girl for sure. Which was Not never the case. the case. Right. Like during the summer, this is like never the case yeah you know he's like an idiot of opportunity not like someone who's gonna like plan not on plotting. something devious, right yeah, yeah, yeah you know so she got there and i remember he went outside and she was crying her eyes out and we were i was looking out just like oh my god and jason's all dude i feel so fucking bad for her and at the time i just remember like are you serious <laughs> it's her it's her yeah she's crazy and in hindsight yeah in hindsight like it's <laughs> There's no girl that could have dealt with him, dude. No. He's not smart enough to be sneaky and get away with it. And he's not, he's not, he was, or he wasn't. And he wasn't disciplined enough to have a girlfriend and not do dumb shit when he's drunk in Chico, Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. He's like a puppy. He really is. (laughs) You almost, like, kind of can't even blame him if he, like, cheated on her. Mm Because you're like, I mean. It's him. You put a bone in front of it. He's a puppy. Like one of my best friends when she gets drunk. Like, it's her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Who we're going to spend some time with soon. I'm so excited. It's going to be really funny. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Like, it's just one of those things where like cheating is cheating is cheating is kind of like, it's all wrong. Yes. Agreed. But the person, it really depends. Like if I. I think it coming down to intent and like yes. premeditation and all that. I definitely think that plays into account for sure. 100%. But like, I feel like you could hold me pretty harshly accountable because I'm never. You're not ever in that. Exactly. That's why you don't get any free passes. Uh, I mean, well, no, I do. But I just (laughs) haven't met any of the girls that I get free passes with yet. Sydney Sweeney. No. Uh, The girl we were just talking about. Kate Beckinsale. Kate Beckinsale. You better watch out for that one, dude. If I met she that likes, one, yeah. she's a skeezy pita. I'd be like, this is my wife. She'd be all, really? <laughs> hmm. That's like, that's, that's skeleton key. So what are you key. doing later? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's done some vetting. <laughs> you guys have been together for how long? It's like a long time. How long? 17 years. She's all, hmm. he must be dicking her down something mean. It's like, <laughs> I am. No, but like, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I've never, I can't think of, I've never really thought about this, but like even back then, I can't think of a time where I was like doing something devious with another girl where I think I deserved the be- like the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because I don't get blacked out like that. Right. Same. You know? I, yeah, I would never be the person that like accidentally mm-hmm. did something. Yeah. Like, if, I mean... And, I, you know, I'm talking about like college, obviously, before of we course. met. But like when I did that stuff, though, in my mind, I'm like, it was always with my first one and she cheated on me. And then yeah, I would still hang out. So I was just like for, but she, like she for, started it for years, though, where it was like, just let her right. go, dude. Like she's paid her penance a hundredfold. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> but uh, boys are terrible. But so are girls. So. What? I said so are girls. I mean, I had I had never done anything when I found a fucking condom in her trash. That's on you. You should have done something. What? When he, oh, you mean... Like when I first like caught she her. started I mean. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's on you for staying in that relationship. But I wasn't like you did. in the relationship exactly. It was Go like, ahead. you know, He's I wanted... Stringing to, her along. I wanted to be together on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. On the boring nights. Yeah. I can, I can respect that, I guess. Did Although, you have any boring night dudes? Like when you were in college, you're like, um, okay, I'm bored out of my mind. My friends are with their boyfriends. I guess I need to have a dude I'm dating just to not be. No, because my houses were always like our, like it sounds like just you and Mike lived together for a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Our houses, I always had five to eight people in a house. Like there was never a, there's no one here. What am I going to do? Like there was always someone home, always. 
Okay, but you also always had a do like mm-hmm. how many days in college would you say there were when you <laughs> had single total fr- not, not single total freedom uh, like single like I'm not officially in it I'm talking total freedom to do whatever you want where you were not at least like where you would know that there's someone who would be very upset if they found out you did blah 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 oh I don't which know. doesn't mean that you're like doing something wrong I'm just no, saying no no like, no I know what you mean I yeah. don't know I did I, I did kind of bounce like from guy to guy I didn't have a lot of like actually no one like feeling like they could lay claim to me in mm-hmm. one way or another um that was really honestly probably only the end of my senior year right before we met incidentally mm-hmm. When I was really trying to be single and like do my own thing and then mm-hmm. in, in walks this guy. Fail. Fail. It was meant to be though. The it fact was. that like you were a, like I, there are. I'm trying to think any other girls I know who literally always like when you mm-hmm. say bounce guy to guy to clarify that what she means is she always, always had, had a boyfriend. boyfriend. Like always. Always. Yeah. If shit was going sideways with a dude, it's like. Okay, I'm not really there sure. Was I like another to see. There's another option nearby. One, like, okay, like yeah, I didn't like cheat on anybody, yeah. but it was like the minute that I ended one relationship, it would be like, okay, I'm single now. You want to go out to dinner or whatever? Mm-hmm. Like, there was always someone waiting in line. That's I guess. how it always. That's why when girls gaslight dudes about mm-hmm. their boy, their guy friends, guys are like, like I mean, there are lots of really. Du- I do think like I've ha- I've definitely had. Friends that are just guy friends. Oh, that wouldn't have had sex with you if you were down? Well, I mean, guys, no, no, no. guys are guys, but like... But would not, who, who in their mind were not attracted to you in any way. I'm not talking about just like, like, I mean, yeah, obviously I would have been down to have sex with basically any girl right. that I knew if they were That's moderately I mean. good looking, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like who were not at least in there hanging out with you partially. They might not have told you, but in their mind, they're like, oh my God, I love her. Um, I mean, some of the guys I lived with. One of them ended up being gay, but the other one... That doesn't count. The other one we had... Like, we were straight up just friends. Like, there was... There were things about each other that we were like, ew. Like, literally never. Was he someone's boyfriend? Um, No. He was just very, very, very studious. He ended up being like a doctor or something. But he... How is that a deal breaker for you? Being studious? Not... Not... Like, he just wasn't fun. Like he was, he was intellectual and like fun to talk to. Like we had good conversations, but zero chemistry, like on either side. Okay. So that's one person mm-hmm. who doesn't count because oh. you lived with them okay. and you, it was inescapable. Yeah. Talking about friends, like guys are all, yeah, she's my friend. I'm saying literally 100% of guys that are all, oh yeah, she's my, like, oh, that's yeah, my like guy the friend. One of my really best friends in high school, but they're either I think gay. He hook up with me. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah. They're either get like I I wonder how many girls are actually ignorant about that or how many of them are um, are like okay I know but like I'm not gonna like do it so. yeah I don't know at the time I had convinced myself that my that friend in high school was literally just a friend hmm. but in hindsight obviously now I look at it I'm like oh that poor guy <laughs> dude I I wonder like uh, if if there was some kind of uh, device where people could literally just get thrown into the other person's life experience mm-hmm. just for like a day, how much that would affect, like when they're, they come back on the other right, side, they're looking, like looking at it. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Dude, Had I, I know. I didn't know I was torturing you like right. that. Yeah. I mean, I knew you were probably, I mean, that, like kind of, I mean, that's not, uh, not just on the girl side either. Sure. Yeah. I've noticed I've noticed throughout my life that lots of the girls that there I was not attracted to, like, you know, mm-hmm. they're like, they're like good looking, you know, like, mm-hmm. you know, like good looking. Yeah. But they just f- did not do it for me. Wasn't it for you? But I really liked them, you know, like, mm-hmm. like good friends. I could tell, I'm like, that chick's in love with me. And I think it was specifically because I was so funny and fun with them and, and I was not, not attracted to them yeah. at all. And they could, they're like, my God, like he's Why such a he breath of me or like he's such a breath of fresh air. Cause like, as soon as you throw uh mm-hmm. you know, like it's sales, it's like, if you know, it was the like that movie we were watching last night when which, she's like, I really need you. Like, you know, just come over, blah, blah, blah. And he's yeah. like, do you really need me? She's all, and she's gone. like, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
That is funny. But you know what I'm saying? Like, just think, like, outside of hooking up, like, think of it as, like, a sales situation. It's like, as soon as someone's all, so tell me a little bit about your financial planning. You're like, dude, honestly, I've been whatever, and they're all, so let me tell you about this crypto. You're all, oh, my God, shut the fuck up. Yeah. It's like uh, a person who is asking those questions is genuinely interested in your answers and has absolutely no, no agenda. No interest, You're like, yeah. let's talk about that. And then as soon as you realize they're, like, leading you in a direction, it's like, ugh. Yeah. And so people can like sense that, especially like girls. Like that person yesterday who was like, oh, I'm sorry. Your family's been through so much. Tell me what's going on with your health and everything. So I shared oh, like yeah. what we'd gone through. She goes, well, I have this product. And I'm like, ew. Someone told Gabrielle about Y'all. the most ludicrous fucking thing. Like people try to sell Gabrielle snake oil all the time, all the time. just because of the business that she's in. And so like, you know, they're like, she's a superstar hey would you be and there's some great products in this industry but y'all this person told me about these new stickers (laughs) that you just put on your body and it has ridges like a qr code and the second it just makes contact with your skin this is on the website it sends a signal to your body, to your mental, spiritual, physical self about the healing that needs to take place. I'm like, y'all, I'm a, I'm a fucking acupuncturist. Like, I stick needles in random places in the body. If anyone's going to believe something like this, it would be me. I'm like, this is the biggest crock of shit modern day snake oil I have ever seen ever. in my life. Did you actually put QR code Q, it, into QR your, code. Your body is going to recognize a fucking QR code. Our skin reads QR codes now, friends. Uh, and you too can get 30 stickers for $62. They're only $2 a pop. So like, who cares if they really work? Oh my God. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. the craziest absurd. thing I've ever seen in my life. I have to go get our child. Oh shit. All right, guys. Subscribe to the channel. We'll have more time. for you soon. Bye-bye.